All right, Pisces, here we go. This is an energies update for the sign of Pisces. Two fish, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Uh, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason, all right? Again, emphasis on may or may not resonate with you, okay? All right, don't make readings fit. That's not cool. All right, uh, this is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Well, um, I got a pre-shuffle here. And what I've got is a lot of turmoil on someone's side. This is, I have to admit, I often say you're tied to Leo, you know, the energies of the Leo angle, you know, whether you know a Leo or not. I did a Leo reading earlier today that was draining. It was deep. This is very on the surface. Okay, this is much lighter. I like this. This is like a day at the amusement park for me. Uh, somebody's all up in their head. There's a lot of turmoil going on on somebody's side about something long term. Something that uh, either a belief system or a relationship of some kind. Okay. Um, four of Swords. Uh, it's something that they're still healing from. Big time healing right here. But the two of pentacles, someone's making some decisions here. Someone's making some hard decisions. There's no doubt about that because I've got temperance right here. That's balancing energy. Somebody wants to be happy. And it's very clear here that they're not happy <laughs> with whatever this hierophant represents. Okay? Uh, and right there, the seven of swords. It, it, there's either a lot of deception in what this hierophant represents or with the Seven of Swords book ending the Eight of Swords, it's something that they're they're mm, maybe lying to themselves about just just a little bit though. It's just a small Seven of Swords energy here. This person is it's very clear from this Two of Pentacles. This is someone making decisions. It's Two of Pentacles, but it's crossed by the Temperance card. Okay, it's very 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 balanced energy it's a decision being made it's a clear sign of it from the cards let's let's shuffle the deck pisces let's see what we got here all right give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of pisces all right and i'm here with the pisces parrot flame is here you know he a pisces right well, he's very excited about this reading he's on the edge of his perch all right let's see where we go Let's shuffle the deck here for Pisces. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Pisces. This first card out is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here position. Let's find out why we're here right now. And this is why. I told you, they're making a decision. Things are, be things are getting done. Okay? Soon, if not now. I don't know. Ace of Swords. It's, it's, it, it reads as an aha moment. Okay? What, it, it, truth coming to light. In other words, they're getting past that Seven of Swords that we saw. They're getting real. And I believe that. I said there was a very small energy of deception around that Seven of Swords. Um, but again, something on their side, something long-term hurt them. So I'm sure there's deception within that. Either if it's an aspect of themselves or a relationship they might be in. Whatever it is, it's the Emperor after the Ace of Swords. Hmm. It's two energies. Energy is always in layers and it's a general reading. It's somebody who's realizing their behavior is costing them happiness. Uh, the Burger King behavior, got to have it their way, pride, ego, whatever. But it's also someone taking control. I see someone taking control of their life. That's what I see here. That's what I feel. You can hear it in my voice. It's right there. My voice changes with the energy. However, if the energy is somber, I'm somber. If the energy is like this. This is taking control. This is me talking to somebody on the phone saying, I'm not, having, I'm not taking any shit from you. I'm not having it, right? They're not having this behavior anymore, or they're not having, they're just taking control. They, uh, they, want, they want to go toward happiness, all right? That's what temperance is. Temperance from the pre-shuffle is balanced energy. Balanced energy is happiness to us, to we 3D beings, all right? Uh, us here in the 3D. Anyway, let's shuffle the deck. Let's do it. Let's go. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Pisces. Give me a reading, universe. And it knows what I mean by that. Let's see what we got here. Let's see where we go. Are we ready? Okay, I am. Bottom of the deck, the seven of wands is what I just said. This card has a lot of meanings, but one of them is this one for sure. It's someone standing up and doing what's right for them. Look at her. She ain't taking no shit. Male or female, it's a female on the card. She's not taking any shit. She's ready to roll. Going after, finding their, finding their zen would be the energy I get here. Finding their happiness, right? 
right here underneath it look at that from the pre-shuffle the eight of swords right there crossing the uh, seven of wands and the seven of wands is crossing by the way the ace of pentacles or the ace of swords are a card before the cut mm-hmm mm-hmm uh-huh this is good i like this for you two fish let's see where we go the reading's on the flip right here's the energy around the connection right here's how your person feels and their emotions three 3d stuff right here's how they feel in the soul about you not what they show you not what they tell you right here's the hidden energy uh which you don't know and it's message from the universe i'll tell you what it says what she says the fickle old gal it's read with the energy of the connection although it is technically separate from the reading right here's the potential final outcome i say potential because I can't predict free will and neither can Flem the Parrot. And he a Pisces, you know. I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. If I think we need to extend it, I will. I do not know. But as always, I encourage Pisces people to watch the Leo reading. You are energetically, energetically tied to that angle of the cycle. Okay? So I strongly encourage it. Uh, it's a deep reading, though. Make sure you watch it when you have time. It's, it, it was some tricky energy to read. This, this is child's play. Right here, what's the energy around the connection right now? Yeah, this is child's play. Knight of Cups. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they want to come. They, they want to. Somebody's going toward their happiness. Somebody's standing up doing what's right. Somebody's taking control. Somebody's had an aha moment. Decisions are being made. It's, it's all backing up the pre-shuffle. And the cards before the cut. Or at the cut whatever the cut the energy of the connection is forward moving love coming toward the connection how do they feel in their emotions eight of cups walking away from eight broken cups toward what happiness what i've been saying again this is child's play i just pulled a leo reading that was like reading a, a complex philosophy textbook this is this is like a big bird pop-up book i mean it's pretty clear what's going on here uh, how do they feel in the soul, right? How do they feel in the soul? Well, I mean, we know the connection is happiness. It's Knight of Cups. How do they feel in the soul about you? Look at this. I see this. I believe this is true. Ten wands. Ten wands, yeah. You're putting... Their soul is in pain. There is. There's some guilt here in this energy. There's all kinds of things. It's bookending the Knight of Cups. There's a, there's, this person is being pressured by the universe itself to come towards this connection and walk away from these eight broken cups whatever those eight cups are they could just be an element of themselves maybe they used to be an asshole right yeah even you see he a Pisces he's he agrees even they used to be an asshole maybe I don't know whatever it is could be a marriage could be a family I, I don't know you know they're walking toward their happiness. They're being pushed here. The Ten of Wands is a dam that's about to break in the soul. It breaks to an Ace of Wands, by the way. Uh, hidden energy. Uh, but no emphasis on about to. The Ten of Wands falling here means that it hasn't broke yet, <laughs> per se. Again, you're all on different timelines, so it's going to happen at different times for each of you. Uh, what's the hidden energy here? What's, what's the universe want to say? When the universe gives me the devil, this is very special. Okay, this is very, and it's red with the energy of the connection. Um, I see it here. No, it's right here. I know you won't believe it. I don't care. You got two fish tattoos, one on each butt cheek. You're, you're all right with me. <laughs> That's hot. But right here, Ten of Wands, uh, they're obsessed. They are, they are in love. They're obsessed. May not be admitting it. I don't know. It's my resting bitch face girl here a little bit. A little bit, one of them in this deck. Um, there's, uh, we're going to have to clarify that, but it's just, it's just coming at me. All I get is Pisces off of this. All I get is Pisces. This, this energy is what made me just, say, you know, again, I don't say or joke anything here in the videos that isn't in the uh, energy. That's why even my jokes matter, right? When I make a little punchline, a little funny, this energy is what made me say that your butt cheek tattoos were hot. You know, this person. This person is like, you know, totally into you. Okay. That's the easiest way to phrase it. They're being urged by their soul to come towards you. But first, this has to happen. And this takes a lot of bravery. This takes some guts. They're sitting in two pentacles right now, which I believe a decision is being made, as we saw from the pre-shuffle. But they've already had the aha moment about their behavior as the emperor, the Burger King. Right? Out of balance emperor. Or... They, or they just are taking control and going after their happiness like this girl on the card here. She's taking control. She's already gone. 
She's already halfway to the damn light over here. What's the potential final outcome? It's red with the Eight of Cups. Hmm? Seven of Cups. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's up to them. The universe is saying it's up to your person. They, it, 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 we saw it with the Two of Pentacles and the pre-shuffle. The Temperance card crossing it would indicate that a decision is being made. This guy looks, looks to me like he's making a decision. He's pointing to something. I usually say pick the red one, asshole. All right, I don't know, but I'm only drawn to the action of what he's doing. He's making a choice. There's options, and they're making a choice. What choice they make is up to their free will. You know, Destiny's Freeway has a lot of roads that come off of it, a lot of exits that come off of it. It's all prepaved. It's all already there. What? That's where free will comes in. We, we make free will choices to go left or go right or take the next exit, whatever. It's going to differ for all of you, and I see it here in the card. There's all kinds of cups here, but it's cups, you see? It's someone going toward the cups, the love. Not these eight broken ones. These aren't broken. All right, let's clarify. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Mm -hmm. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? I know. I'll tell them, don't worry. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Okay. Yeah. I said this was brave, right? Yeah. And it's going to take bravery. It's the Knight of Wands. It's a brave, impulsive action. It's a brave knight. A little emotionally immature. Can get out as fast as they come in. Uh, but, but this person it is with, with this Ten of Wands here, which is bookending in red with this, uh, there's a lot of pressure in the soul, in the, in, the connection, uh, in the energy of the connection itself. There's a lot of pressure for this person to take a leap here and come forward. And could we see it here with the devil, which is red with this. There's an almost a, a pre-programmed obsession here in a lot of ways on this person's side. What's on top of the Knight of Cups? Two of Swords. Look at very similar energy to the Two of Pentacles. Two Swords here. Uh, it could go either way. Again, they're, si they're just sitting right now. They, they are. We see it right here in the final outcome. It, it, again, we're seeing this a lot in February. February, if I were to give the month of February a title and the energy of it, it would be shit or get off the pot. It would be the shit or get off the pot month. Because the North Node is now sitting in Taurus. And as I said on my North Node reading, and as I'll say again on tomorrow's North Node trining Pluto reading, the North Node in Taurus is much more of an I'm either in or out energy than when it was in Gemini previously for a year and a half of in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out kind of thing. Right here. Decisions being made. Somebody's at a crossroads. Why is the Two of Swords here? Ace of, uh, the Ace of Swords comes back. Because they know what they want to do. And the only thing preventing from them from doing it is some bravery. Okay? A little bit of bravery, which I said was attached to the energy of this card. I did. Rewind. Come on now, two fish. Uh, right there. It takes bravery. The Eight of Cups is to be commended. Someone who actually walks away from eight broken cups. Most people in this world don't do that. They sit in marriages that suck, that they hate. There's no love, the love long gone. They sit, they sit in jobs that they hate, you know. They go through their life, they end up, you know, drinking themselves to death, <laughs> pretty much. That's really very common. It actually is, the Eight of Cups, you know. But more enlightened people, people that have soul connections, people that have a destiny, people that feel something, they, they tend to want to go towards that. Okay, but it does take some bravery to do it. Does your person have the bravery? I don't know. I know they've got the impulse. I see it here. And I know they know what they want to do. I know that. And they want to stand up and do what's right for them, but it's minor arcana. Whole reading clarifying minor arcana is a whole lot of free will. I don't like it either. Okay? But I especially don't like it when I'm driving down the road. And the, and the health and well-being of myself and my automobile are at the mercy of how well someone else drives. <laughs> right? Most people get in car accidents because somebody else fucked up. They're too busy watching their text, you know? And, and then they slam, slam into the back of somebody. That's selfish. That's narcissism. Ain't no text important enough. 
take a life. Mm. Eight cups. Why is it here? Eight cups. I think they're going to get brave. That's the emperor crossing that. That's that same fucking energy of taking charge. I think they're going to get brave. I do. I think I do. Oh, I do. I do. With the Knight of Wands here, I, it's a brave, impulsive action. This guy here, he's taking charge. That's an energy of someone taking charge. I can't even read that as Burger King. All right, what's the Eight of Cups? What's on top? Yeah, you coming right? Yeah, <laughs> look at that. The Emperor and the Empress, back to back in the deck right there. One at the bottom, the affecting energy, and one at the top, the baseline energy that falls on top of the Eight of Cups. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, oh, if you don't think they want to bang you, if you don't think they want those two fish tattoos slamming against them, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm telling you, it made me do it again. It made me do it again. It made me have sex with you on video again. That's what it did. Right there. Picture it in my hand. It's right there. Uh, it's that energy. I'm telling you. It, it's that energy. There should not be a Pisces who's coming. It's dangerous to have the bird here right now. There's a Pisces in the room. If there was a Pisces in the room right now with this energy here, we'd be banging. Straight up. Male or female, doesn't matter. You are, this person is drawn to you. It's not just about a brave action. Yeah, this is brave. It's, it's again, they're being compelled here. The devil and the ten of wands. Uh, I'll be surprised to see what falls on top of this. Uh, why is the empress here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. 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 Nine swords. I believe it. I believe it. They're worried as fuck about talking to you. There's where the bravery comes in. Taking control. If someone feels like they need to take control, they usually tell themselves, say it out loud, I need to take control here. And they and they kind of puff themselves up and pump themselves up like the king of uh, the emperor here, the king of assholes. The emperor here in the animal deck is a cobra. Cobras puff themselves up with the hood, right? with the hood. Uh, it's like that. And sure, yeah, they're a little worried. All the, you're, they're obsessed with you. Obs this is right here, the Nine of Swords with the Empress. They're, why is the Empress here? The Nine of Swords, they're obsessed with you. Okay? They are. They know what they want to do, but they've got to do something. They're being compelled to do it, but the energy says they're right now. I believe they're making a choice. I get that energy off the car. I believe they're going to stand up and do what's right, but there's still free will at play here. All right? There's still free will. Okay. I'm sorry. But it looks good. At the very least, somebody wants to really bang you. I mean, it's it's here. It's here in the energy. It's really strong, too. Ten of, soul, uh, ten of wands. Why is it here in the soul? Why is, oh, what's all this pressure to go toward my two fish? What's going on here? What's all this pressure to go toward two fish? We saw this in a reading for you I did recently. Wasn't it your February reading where I gave you the fool and I pointed out on the card that somebody was still just hanging on to a stick and I said, Pisces is in the water. You, you know, and then I said, it's better to bang in the water than it is on that rock they're standing on. You know, and it's self-lubricating at the very least. But the bottom line is, it's the same kind of energy. It, it's, it's, more, it's more like a... It's an energy update in the sense of now it's decision time. It's time to shit or get off the pot. And that's really the energy of February in a big way. It's time to shit or get off the pot. Why is the Ten of Wands here? What's all this pressure? Pressure. I got Billy Joel's pressure ringing in my head right now. Pressure. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> What's all this pressure? Crossing it is the Knight of Swords. Uh, they want to come towards you. I mean, I had a knight of wands here in the energy and in, in their soul is the knight of swords. If running ain't fast enough, get on the motorcycle. They're coming your way for most of you. This is a bird in the air. Single bird in the air is messages. They are worried about it. Multiple birds in the air. I'm worried about I'm going towards them, but I'm worried about it. Worried about it because, well, because you're fucking awesome. You're the shit. It's my street name, but I'll share it with you. You're the shit. This card fell here. How they feel. They feel you. Who? The emperor was crossing right there. The divine masculine is coming toward the divine feminine and pissing themselves the whole way there. But in their soul, it's driving them, driving them to run in. I feel that energy. You can hear it in my voice. My voice changes with the energy. Three of wands. They see a whole, in the soul, the way they feel you, the way they dream about you. You're a whole new world. You're, you're a whole. You're something completely different than what they're used to. I bet. 
I bet the current person they're banging doesn't have a fish tattoo on each butt cheek. I bet that's true. I bet they don't. What's all, what's, why is the three of wands here? Seven of swords again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's scary. The, the urge to sneak away. There's both an urge to sneak away. Sneaky deaky under the moonlight. And, but, mm -hmm. so they're standing still. Net, net, this is someone standing still. Okay? Net, net, they're standing still. Might be spying on you. There could be some spying energy here. That, that does appear here in the Seven of Swords. The urge to at least keep an eye on you. Like a thief casing out the joint before they rob it. You know. Uh, it's what it is. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about this right here. Let's talk about this right here. Alright? Mr. Fleming the parrot. What do you think? You a Pisces? He thinks this is all about that cockatoo. That long lost cockatoo. She moved out of the neighborhood. And I won't drive him to Pasadena. I will not do it. I will not drive him to Pasadena. They can come visit us. Alright, all right, here we go. The devil, why is it here? He need to get over it. Alright, the devil, why is it here? Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil. God, this energy is so much smoother than fucking Leo's reading. Jesus Christ, that reading. My God. It, it had a song and everything. Seven of, uh, four of Pentacles. They're obsessed. It's the card of the fucking Jesus H. Christ, holy crap. Motherfucker. It's unreal. The four of Pentacles, it's the card of the miser. It's crossing the devil. They don't want to lose. They're obsessed. They do not want to lose this. They know what they want to do, but they're just standing there. Like Sarah Gilbert trying to decide if she should take a role that's not Darlene. You know, honest to God. Just standing there. Well, I don't know. <laughs> there, the miser is a fearful person. They don't want to spend the money, but they like having the money. This person almost, on some level, likes keeping you in their, in their war chest, in their mind, in their spank bank, we'll say. Mm, but they have such a fear of losing you. They're really thinking, 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 thinking. What's on top of the devil? Jesus Christ, an ace of wands. Ah, Jesus, it's, it. it's all they want. There's a lot of passion here. Okay? All right, there's a lot of passion. If you're waking up at the night and you're sh in the middle of the night and your sheets are wet, there's a reason for it. Male or female, there's a reason for it. All right? Jesus. Dudes be like, well, how did that happen? What the hell? Right here. Uh Queen of Cups, Jesus, the most love I can pull from a deck. And it's red with the Ace of Swords. They know. They know how they feel. They're aware. They've had the aha moment. But they're standing there. It's a neutral energy here. It's, it's, it's a lot of pressure to come towards you. Drawn to you. The Emperor, the Divine Masculine, just drawn. Need to walk away from something here and go toward happiness. Must go toward happiness. It's almost like a pre-programmed robot. And right here, it keeps them up at night. I bet it keeps them up at night. I know what they're doing while they're up, too. I'll tell you that, with the Queen of Cups here. You all know how I feel about redheads. It's a redhead on the card. I can't even contain myself. I'm surprised this card doesn't stick to other cards. I swear to God. It's right there. It, it, all the love. I told you, there's passion, there's love. It's fucking obsession. If there's three cards that would equal, I mean... Seriously, the devil, I've read the obsession energy, the ace of wands, passionate, they want a passionate new beginning right here, and in, in, in love. Huge, biggest I can pull. And it's red with the ace of swords. This is part of what they know. Of course they know you're right here, the best hits in the terror. Everybody wants to hit the empress. You're reflecting, by the way, Two Fish, as pure empress energy. If you see me say that in a three quick cards with me kind of reading or something, it's for you. In part, it's for everybody. I'm just doing energy reading in those. No signs or anything. But you're there. This is that energy. Okay, final, final, seven of cups. Will this asshole make a decision? This asshole, I mean. I'm not calling your person an asshole. If you want me to, I will. Put me on the phone with them. I don't like people that don't move toward their happiness, toward love, toward this much love. Are you crazy? Hey, if they don't start banging you soon, I will. Okay, bottom line. Male or female, I don't care. I'm not that picky. Uh, seven of Cups. Why is it here? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. This is beautiful energy. 
It's like a children's pop-up book to read. You know? That Leo reading was like a slog. This is You're tied to that energy. Some of that energy is bleeding over here. I suspect some of the some of the elements of what's going on on their side might come out in the Leo reading for you. That's why I suggest you watch it. But you do what you want. It's fine. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is it here? Jesus. You know, this really pisses me off. I never met a Pisces I didn't like. It's the truth. I never have. Not one time. Even this parrot. He's the nicest bird. Everyone says that. Even people that don't like birds. I got a friend who's afraid of birds. Has a fear. A phobia of birds. Perfectly fine with this one. They made friends. He gives them seeds. All that. It's like, oh my God. It's a Pisces. You got to go toward two fish. What's wrong with you? The fish is in the water. Look, it's another card with water even. Just like the fool card on the damn February reading, I think it was. Look, the fish are in the water. Get in the fucking water. Stop it. You got ten wands of burden pushing you there. Why? I got to continue shuffling. I'm still shuffling. I'm sorry. I'm just seeing so much more energy here and just giving you what I find. I mean, there's so much imagery here. All right, why is the Seven of Cups here, universe? Stop fucking around. Give me the final final on this. Let's go. Ah. Ah. Eight of, eight of Swords crossing the Seven of Cups. Now, now, the Seven of Cups is red with this energy. I know that they're in this. This is fine. This, ex, this explains this. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, they're in their head a lot. They are. It is going to take some bravery to come. But they know the Emperor was there, and that energy of the Emperor was someone taking charge. And they know what they want to do. It's right here. There's a lot of love here. You know what to pick. Are you going to pick something? This next card is red with you. The Empress. The Queen of Tits. Best Tits in the Tarot. What is it? Is this two cards or one card? It's okay. It's the Seven of Pentacles. Sitting on their fucking hands. On their hands. Sitting on the hands. You're going to leave it to a cliffhanger for the last card. This is it. All right, I'm telling you, they're standing still right now. I'm telling you how they feel. I'm telling you what they want to do. Hell, I'm telling you what I want to do based on this energy. Uh, but they're standing still. I already said that. Remember I said, neutral here. Ten wands. A lot of pressure. A lot of obsession. Feeling the love. Okay. This card here is red with the nine of swords. Is this girl going to come up out of this bog and make a goddamn phone call? I don't Yep, she is. Boom. Boom. Blew my chair back. That's, and it's even Leo energy. That's a sign. There's your sign right there. I'm stealing some comedian's punchline, I know. But he talks with a southern accent. There's your sign right there. Go watch the Leo reading to find out what's going on on this person's side. I'm not even going to extend this one because I think you'll learn a lot. Or at least something from the Leo reading. And I'm the one who pulled it. I'm the one who's reading this energy. So you should listen to me. Uh, but you do what you want to do. I have to say that. My lawyer's always on me about that. Tell them to do what they want to do. Okay. Do what you want to do. But listen to me. Uh, anyway, the strength card here. Yeah, the heart chakra is blown open on this person. Nobody can resist this. Look at this. Neither of these two. Neither of these two could I be in a fucking room with for five seconds. Right? For five seconds without pitching a tent. And it's not going to fucking happen. And it's the same with your person. All right? They get past this. These two are read together. This, Yeah, there's some fear here. It is going to take some bravery. We got the Knight of Wands there. That's a brave, impulsive action. The, even the universe saying it's going to take some bravery. And then come toward. It is. It takes a lot to come toward this. But they got what it takes. They can do this. All right? They can do this. Give me three cards, universe. I'm going to switch decks. I'll grab the little animal deck here. And we'll pull three cards from the universe, see if there's anything else the universe wants to tell you. Okay? Let's go. What else you want to tell two fish before we go here? It looks like they do eventually grow a pair and come towards you. You're just going to have to be patient. I know you don't want me to say that. I know. I'm sorry. You know, I love you guys. I don't want to tell you stupid shit like be patient. Nobody wants to hear that. I don't even like saying it. I hate myself for saying it. It's amazing. Even the bird doesn't like it. All right? You don't like it. He's really watching this reading. Jesus Christ. All right. I don't know. I didn't get the cockatoo upright. I got a lamb here. It's kind of the same color. Okay. Giving me the stink eye. All right. Give me three 
Three cards, universe. What else you what else you want to tell Pisces before we go? Alright. What else you want to tell Pisces? Let's see what we got here. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. Justice, three cups, five wands, and a motherfucking tower. What I tell you? Oh man. That's wild. The tower crossing. Listen, this person, I can dig it. This energy here is tense. Especially, I mean, Ten of Wands and the Soul aside, the Queen of Tets there aside, it, it, this is intense. This is, this is what the universe had to tell us. It said the devil, the obsession, the, just the, the connection is consuming their mind. The Ace of Wands is passion, is all the energy that's coming off of it. Not, not even about a new beginning, but it does represent a new beginning in love because it's here because of the Queen of Cups, because of all the love. The love and passion are sort of blending together here. I can dig it. Tower come crashing down. This is, for me, an even bigger card of communication than the Eight of Wands. The Three of Cups, the number three, is very important in the universe. And I'll write a blog article on it. I'm still working on how to explain it to you in a way that it that, that doesn't sound all hocus pocusy. Uh, but uh, the Three of Cups here, this is about the flow of energy. It's about the flow of emotion. It's about the flow of water. All right. And right here, I've got the cent, and that's the center card. That comes when the tower comes. It comes when I'll phrase it to you this way: It comes with a U and an O on that word "come." When the fucking uh, spank bank just isn't enough anymore, that's where some bravery comes. When you know you can have something, and yet you're sitting on your ass not going to get it, and you just can't take it anymore. Because right here, boom, the tower causes them to reach out. And what we've got right here is justice. Justice is balanced energy, energy balancing. Um, it's happiness for your people in the 3D is what that equals. My problem is this. It's the five of wands. Um, when it comes in, when it's being driven by a tower like this, this is a powerful energy. It's extremely powerful. It can cause some fights and some spats, you know. Try not to let that happen because it's all nonsense. It also tells me for some of you, there might be one of the delays here, might be there's a misunderstanding that you have with this person that needs to be cleared up. Make sure you clear up the past before you move forward with anything, all right? Uh, or uh, it tells me there might be a divorce on their side because they fight a lot if your person's married. That energy is here too. Energy is always in layers, and I've just given you three or four layers of what's here, okay? And I've explained it to you the easiest way I can. This is this is this is pop-up book, Big Bird Sesame Street pop-up book, easy to read. Leo reading was different. Your energy's tied to that. I encourage you to watch it with with your reading ending with the strength card. It's a sign. Okay? It's a sign. You might find out something, especially if your person's married. If your person's married to someone, you get your ass over to the Leo reading. Your energy, your angle on the connection cycle is tied to that shit. You can take my word for it or not. I don't much care. It's up to you. Um, but I know what I'm talking about. Or at least the bird seems to think so anyway. Um, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful to you. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right, Pisces. Good luck.